think we're going to be live here in like two seconds, like right there. Tonight we got the Venti. Yeah, beautiful. Man. Beautiful. I'm excited to jump into this thing tonight. Like the thing that Stores and Bickle has is you hit a volcano and it's like fluffy, cloudy vapor. You hit a crafty, it's fluffy, cloudy vapor. You hit a mighty, it's fluffy, cloudy vapor. You hit a venti, it's fluffy, cloudy vapor. All of their vapes have a kind of a, a, a volcano-like signature. Yeah, I love that about about their products. They all have a very similar heater design, heat exchanger design. I mean, even from the, the, the volcano all the way to the crafty, they're using the same idea as far as how to <clears throat> get a cartridge heater to heat up a metal heat exchanger and then, you know, do, do the vaporization through it. So to me, what they did here is radical for Stores and Bickle to change their heater design. And you're right, I, I it, it'd be really interesting to see if everyone thinks that, yeah, it's the same vapor. I, I definitely, it, it feels like Stores and Bickle vapor to me, which is surprising just because I know what happens when you can change a heater, how much you can change everything else. But Venti is hitting harder, hit for hit, harder than my Mighty, at three wide open, easy peasy. Wow. Like, I don't even... I don't want to hit my Mighty anymore. This is weird. I was just about to say that and stopped. Actually, the Venti was thicker than the Mighty, given the same heat up time. Vaping very similarly. I think the Venti is even better. Definitely more options with this uh, with this vaporizer. I'll just real well, quickly show you. Why don't you it. unbox it? Yeah. So there's the box. Pretty pretty nice box size. I mean, it doesn't you know there's not a lot of extra box to go with. So you're right, Troy. It's it's a nice small box for what you get. You pull this puppy out. You go, holy cow. Okay, that's different. Then you set that aside, and uh, we've got the USB A to C cable. Uh, stores and bickle brush that everybody loves underneath is uh some manuals and shit um and then in this little bag we've got um some some new toys here uh well some old toys the screens the the mouthpiece screen the oven screen and then this is the, the cooling unit screen this big rectangle thing uh some o-rings and then the stir tool because the stir tool does not live on board anymore so it's it kind of and it doesn't even have a place to go on board so anyhow that goes away and you're left with the vente. Look at look at look at what's going on in there, man. Like lots of airflow holes. Like that's totally different than say what was going on in a mighty bowl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was pretty much the same hit as the mighty on the first hit. Side by side. But the second and third hits, you can make make the venti do some different things in the mighty. It's only four. It only it only goes to four ten. So the venti still only goes to four ten, just like the mighty and the crafty. Right. So when you, so, when you turn it on, turn it on. It defaults three fifty six, and then right. double tap three eighty three. And wait, right. don't don't do it yet. See how fast it raised from three fifty six to three eighty three. Yep. Double tap again and count how long it takes. One, two, three. Yeah, about three. Three, three and a half seconds to go from 370 to 410 that's fucking fast yeah and i noticed a difference like i i was going really and i went in for a session and popped it up as quickly as i could and started hitting it and it was it was thicker i was surprised and then you double tap to go back down and cycle back through them that's have you cool. fucked around with the app at all yeah i have yeah here we go so you hit connect so now you can scroll down a little bit see the temperature uh, you can fuck with the boost temperatures here. So, and you could say, ah, fuck that. I want mine to be at 350. And you can't do 350 because it's tied to Celsius. So you can do 349 or 351. And then you see it's already changing here. You could make your boost. Uh, we can make the boost a butt ton. You know, we can go way on up there. Now, when I double click, let's see if it goes to 403. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was quick and nice. easy. Okay. Like, that was smooth. If you click the venti, you'll get the stats, I think, or something. And then the settings, this tab here, and this pop-up comes up. So I could turn the vibrations on or off. You can optimize charging to be better for the battery and uh, give it a voltage limit to be better for the battery. So two things you can do, if you want longer battery health, you will turn these on. And you'll find that uh, it charges a little slower and you probably won't 
get that last session because it's going to stop at 90 percent instead of 100 or some shit like that so anyhow but it's good for your battery and then check out the led brightness on here this is kind of cool can you see that that's green at all you probably can't but it, it it changes when you when you make it lower it's kind of blue huh. a light blue versus a bright green that's actually green not white so okay um, all right so your camera's just kind of blowing it up yeah yeah it, it, that is a really bright screen you're right i mean it's nice having the led turned down i'll probably leave it down now that i do that's the app the the vape does not even hardly get warm when i use it now when i do what i just did there and run it for a while without hitting it it gets a little warm up here not hot by any means just a little warm but if you use it it doesn't happen at all so uh, anyhow bro you haven't taken the cooling cooling unit apart yet Talking bro about it's the coolest thing you know how like the the stir stick on the previous mighty was a tool to use yeah the mouthpiece has this rim Ooh. that acts as like a little screwdriver to jam into that that get slot. the fuck out i did not pick up on that yeah you un unlock it with a turn and then the whole thing pops off Oh, you did it while it was attached, of course, because then you can pull it up. Okay, yeah, so I've never seen the inside the here. So here's the yeah, here's the inside, and you can see here's where mine's dirty. I've probably had seven or eight, maybe nine bowls with mine so far. So here's the vapor. This is just like the inside layer. So there's actually not a lot up in there. But yeah, right right down in there. That's where the vapor comes around, goes around comes around and then goes back under up through then through the screen up and over and then yeah out the mouthpiece yeah it's a neat cooling unit and uh the mouthpiece itself acts as a little little tool and that's pretty neat with the mouthpiece out you can look down in there and see the adjustable airflow ah there you go that helps you see what the fuck's going down and then on this little wheel, I just learned this today. Yeah. See how there's like three little grooves? Uh-huh. So there's your three your three settings. It's and the closed. notch is closed. Yeah. The notch is closed. And it is closed. Whew. That was the first hit on 410 with wide open. I'm, uh, everything I've done so far tonight's wide open. All right, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a bowl on on the one setting. All right. Mine's still orange heating up. This thing is huffing clouds on, uh, I mean, I'm pulling hard, harder than I want to. I don't like to vape this quickly, but I'm doing it for you guys. And it's fucking keeping up and hitting me good. Oh, it finally just dropped down one more battery notch. So on my fifth bowl, it dropped down to two two battery notches from the top. Yeah. On my third bowl, it was at one. First two Not bowls. what I got too. Stayed full. At one, this is still more open than the mighty. I think it yeah, is. Yeah, I think just past one for me, somewhere like just past, like not even one and a half, is about where the mighty is on resistance. It uh, as soon as you go below one, it kind of tightens up. I don't think the extraction is as, is as fast, but I feel like I'm getting more vapor. For me, yeah, by the time I get to two, it's way open compared to the Mighty. How do you feel about how it feels? Like it's a totally different feel than the Mighty. Like it. But I carried it yesterday. I carried it last night. I went out vaping last night. I carried it today. There was a, a point today where I almost didn't know it was there when when the mighty is in my pocket that's it yeah like the mighty that's that's my mighty pocket but yeah i've i've been happy with the size I, I think it carries i think it carries better than a mighty i could see that i mean it's not much taller i love that it stands up doesn't you know doesn't need a store tool to do that i'm putting this one on a bubbler now man we're going straight for oh water. we're going to the bubbler here's the heat up this is the sixth bowl let's see how fast this one takes to heat up Ooh, is, it, was nice. is it getting any faster is it getting slower the first hit took a couple of seconds to start to cloud up. I'm at 410. Two thirds into my hit, it was fucking righteous and started rewarding. And then the second hit was a little lighter. The first hit was really good, strong, doing it like 
It rips. It doesn't rip as hard as the the tiny mite too, but it's fluffier, borderline more enjoyable depending on what you're looking for out of your vapor. Initially, to me, it feels like the vapors vary in the in the mighty zone. The venti is now what a hundred bucks more than the mighty plus four fifty to three fifty. Is that how it works? That is just no work at all, man. That is no work at all. Okay, now now I love the venti a lot more, and now I know how to hit it. That was a fun night of experimenting, Jerry. I learned a few things for sure. Yeah, man, that was good shit. Yeah, just the ABV and the feel. Um, the high is the same. Clouds of the fluffy is the same. The tickle, though, that's impressive, man. You open it up and forget about that tickle. Smoother hit. Join us next week when we finish with the uh, best butane vapes for bongs. Yes. Topic. Next week, we're doing the sequel to the best butane vapes for bongs. And maybe after that, we'll do the venti sequel. All, All right, right, cool. We're not even going to do an outro. We're just going to say we dig you. And uh, peace, man. See you next Friday. Right on.